worked examples. Topic 5, finding issues. And in this topic, we're going to look at a simple scenario related to a vessel. The learning objectives are to connect the different lessons into a workflow, this time using the sunburst and user alerts. So in this scenario, we know there's been an issue with the inlet separator. So I'm going to build the sunburst here from scratch. Now we could have had a display up pre-configured with it already on the screen and we could go straight to it, but for the sake of illustrating the point, we'll, we'll go from scratch. I found the inlet separator, I've added it to the basket, and now I'm going to click the sunburst builder to the right hand side. So now we're going to follow the has equipment and has instrumentation relationships for two hops. So we'll click the first level, load them, that brings up all the equipment and instruments related directly to it and we're also going to follow it for one more level and we'll click load and there we go. That will bring in the equipment related to the equipment and we're going to change it now to show color by status and instantly we can see that one of the pieces of equipment related has an issue. It has a bad status and it's been colored red. It has an active alert. So if I go into the common menu here, I can see straight away here it's a red status. I can see the, the tag itself that's causing that. And if I go to the alerts tab via the measurements tab, there in the alerts I can see that there's the latest alert. If I click on the icon by it, it will bring that up in a trend. Now it's brought up quite a short time window. We're going to need to see a bit more than that to get the context. So let's expand it to be a seven day window. We can always adjust it later if we need to. Okay, now, now we can see a little bit more context. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this into another page. I'm going to click the create content, create page button and now it's saved. Now I can work on this and get it just how I like it and share it with people. It's currently in a temporary space. I want to move it to my own personal space so that only I can see it for the time being and then I'll probably share it with a colleague. Right, it's now moved. I need to change the title, give it something meaningful. So we'll name it after the temperature incident, the date. I could write some analysis here if I wanted to, I'm not going to bother. But there we are now, I've got that in there. So, okay, be helpful to see a little bit of a different time range. So I've unlocked the trend so I can easily reposition the axes. If I didn't unlock it and I just dragged, then it would zoom in. But there we go, I've now got the trend looking exactly what I want and I could continue on to share it with colleagues and collaborate with others like we saw in the earlier lessons. Okay, hope that was helpful.